Hello friends, welcome to the Osaka. My name is Delali Frank and this is News Daily where I serve you with all the major trending news in the last few hours. In today's edition, we're going to talk about Kujal Samoa and Juventus. Juventus are set to open an academy in Accra, Ghana. They are doing it in partnership with Kujal Samoa. We're going to, I'm going to give you details of that and when the academy is going to be established and how you can also be part of it. We're also going to talk about a young Ghanaian who is on the radar of Bayern Munich, Chelsea, and other top European clubs. We're going to talk about that particular player. And also, I have an update on Thomas Partey's injury and then Usman Bukhari, who also picked up an injury before the international break. We'll talk about the Black Queens as well, who are preparing for an Olympic qualifiers. We'll talk about when they are playing their games and any information that you need to know. As usual, if it's your first time, please hit on the subscription button and let's build this community together. Let's be friends share and say hello in the comment section because i have some few things that i'm going to share coming days as usual i'm going to give you a shout out if you leave a comment in the comment section but if you are done with all these things then let's go straight into today's video so we are going to start from the camp of ghanian legend kujao samoa so kujao samoa recently retired from international football and he's one of those players that when he retired they didn't go into coaching. Kujia Sama went straight into scouting, player management, like the business side of football. He has been working closely with Oliver Arthur, who is at Arthur Legacy. And silently, Kujia Samoa, and then I think he, he did, he's been doing it in collaboration with the Italian embassy in Ghana. And he has been able to build an academy, or has been able to build a beautiful edifice right in the center of Accra. So maybe I'm sure you have seen or you have not seen it. Kujia Samoa has built a beautiful edifice right in the center of Accra. It's just around the Accra Mall. If you know Accra Mall very well, right behind Accra Mall, he has built something brilliant there. I understand that he used to be doing it whilst he was playing football. And after that, now he has made it a very huge one. After that, he has gone into partnership with Juventus, who Juventus are set to open or officially launch the academy. So all the groundwork and everything has been done. Juventus have academies around Africa and they deem it fit to have Ghana as one of the academy centers. The event itself will be happening or the live event or the launch of the event will be happening tomorrow, which is October 27th at the academy center. As I told you, the venue is behind, is slowly behind uh, the Accra, Accra Mall, like not really far from the Accra Mall environment. So it's a, very, it's a place that is hugely in... Uh, is the open space like i should say the center of accra yeah and then it's going to be an academy that you know it's going to be the phase of juventus in ghana so juventus will be scouting players obviously they'll be coming directly to the academy center to pick some legends to pick some players i should say from the academy center and it's quite a good news you know because that's what you want from our players players that have played on international level they always have partnership with their clubs they all have respect with the club that they have played for obviously ghana has exceptional talent ghana has strong relationship with the italian Serie A. there are so many ghanaian players that have played in Serie A, from kujia Samoa himself steven apia muntari like mention it currently they are so imano jc like so many ghanaian players plays in the italian Serie A. like uh, a free aqua has played there before the Serie A has strong relationship with Ghana. Erika Fenejan, like so many Ghanaian players have played in Serie A. So it's, it's, I think it's a step in the right direction for Juventus to have an academy here. The, what happened was that when the post was sneaked by the Italian council or the ambassador, the Italian ambassador on Twitter, a lot of people showed so much interest that he has to come back and come and say that it's not open for the general public. I mean, the launch, the press launch is not open for the general public, but it's basically open to football administrators, people that are working football, and then journalists as a whole. So it's going to be an exciting event. If you ask me, it's a very, it's a pretty good news, you know, like to have a Ghanaian have this kind of huge partnership. It's something that we wish could have some the best of luck, and we hope that other Ghanaian legends that have played on that level will have then kind of partnership so it's a good news we're going to follow it i'm sure after the press launch they're going to let us know how players are going to be scouts and how players are going to be parts of it it's quite a good news if you ask me and we are wishing them and could just some other best of luck so it's going to be juventus academy ghana that's what that's the name juventus academy 
Ghana and we wish Kujia Samoa and his people the best of luck. Let's move away from Kujia Samoa and then talk about other things as well. So, do you remember that Ghana went to play some under 17 tournaments that the team beat everybody and basically came out as champions? The team was coached by Lai and then coach Karim Zito. Remember that team very well. Basically, Lai is first responsibility as a national team assistant coach liars job and the team plays some good football beat everybody dispatched it scored a total of over 10 goals and considered only four like they were a good team there was one midfielder in the team it was called fatal Ghani. he is called fatal Ghani. He, he didn't score goals. you know ghana we like players that score goals so because he didn't score goals we didn't really pay attention to him but the truth is that the young man was special in that team he was basically one of the top midfielders that played in the competition. He was pretty much scouted by a lot of teams. And then recently, does yesterday, uh, Fabrizio Romano made a tweet about a young man saying that other European clubs have been monitoring the young man and the 16-year-old boy, and he's he's set to go on trials with top-level clubs. He mentioned clubs like Bayern Munich, mentioned Chelsea, mentioned uh, Leipzig. And uh, uh, Salzburg, I should see, and other top level European clubs said that those clubs are monitoring the Ghanaian very well and they are hoping to sign him. He understood, he also said that the boy will be, will be going to Europe in November to watch some international games to work with these teams. And that, this, that's good news. Remember, Fatah Ishaku, Ishaku also had the same experience after the U20. African Cup of Nations, a lot of European clubs had interest in him. He went on tour to do some trials, came back, and then he was signed by uh, Sporting. So I'm sure he's going to be excelling, wishing the best of luck. Some this is what you need, like having uh, players get then kind of you know uh, then top level European clubs. You know that's that's what you need from your players, the young boys getting this experience. There's Bayern Munich, there's Chelsea, and the other clubs. Where do you think he should go? Which club should you, if they also interest, where do you think he should go? Where do you think he would get enough time to develop? Because he's 16 years old. He has a lot, a lot of things to learn. Like now, he's just a natural talent, but he has a lot of things to learn. Talking about Ghanaian players, let's talk about Thomas Partey. Now, the level of injury, Thomas Partey's injury this season has been, come on. He has not been consistent. I don't, I don't think he has played five games continuously, and that's a problem. Yeah, obviously he's he's 30 years old now. The kind of football he has played, he has like you know lost a lot of energy. Played so many physical work in Spain now. He's a bit weak. Mazos are weak, but the level of injury is too much. Remember, Pate was we were expecting Pate to be part of the Arsenal team that would play. In the Champions League, unfortunately, the young man was not part of the squad. A lot of people got worried. Then Arsenal released a statement that he has picked a muscle injury during training. So that's why he's in trouble with the team. Ghanaians were worried because he was basically coming out of injury, came to the international friendly, basically played 45 minutes, 45 minutes for Ghana. We're expecting him to be back. He has picked up an injury again. That's painful, you know. It's, it's pretty much painful to see one of top level talents go like injury being his worry and sometimes you understand why Arsenal really wanted him to leave and you understand why me I've always said he should go to the Saudi day take some good money because this Arsenal team they look at the amount of salary you are picking and the fact that they can't get consistent playing time from you and that's basically the reason why the Clarice Arsenal will think the Clarice is better than Thomas Partey there's no way that boy is better than Partey and because of consistency and the fact that he can play consistent games they would always fancy him ahead of you. That's painful. Ateta, after that game, spoke and he said, yeah, Pate has picked up by muscle injury. And it's very frustrating to see him continue getting injuries. But there's little they can do about it. Let's talk about another Ghanaian, Usman Bukhari. Usman Bukhari has been excelling for his team. But uh, they were expecting him to... Ghana was actually expecting him to come and play for us. Uh, during the World Cup, uh, the, the international friendlies that we played, but they couldn't because of an injury he picked during training, and then uh, he, he wasn't able to 
come and play for Ghana. But fortunately, he made a return to his team to the Serbian side when they played uh, their, their Champions League game against RB Leipzig. Uh, Usman Bukhari plays for Resta Belgrade, I'm sure you know. He has scored, he has been very consistent in the Champions League squad, basically two goals in the Champions League squad against Man City, and also scored against, I think, Young Boys, I should say. He's been a very good boy, scored some good goals, and fortunately, he made a return into the Champions League game when his side lost to RB Leipzig. He, play, he came into the first half, played the entire game. So it's good news. We are pretty much excited. Let's wrap up with some news from the Black Queens. Others are saying, now the Black Queens are our Black Stars. The Black Queens are fit and ready to play the Black Stars. They should organize a match between the Black Queens and the Black Stars. So they will do them, they will show them small France because Charlie. The Black Stars are giving us troubles, but the Black Queens are unbeaten. They play like more than five games unbeaten. When they catch you, they give you six, seven. Pretty much good size. So the team is preparing for Olympic qualifiers. The Olympic qualifiers is the male qualifiers, which that one Ghana couldn't qualify when we went to the when we went to the games, the African qualifiers in Morocco, the team failed to qualify. So Ghana, the male side will not be able to qualify. But the Queens are hoping to. They played the, the first stages and they managed to beat, I think Guinea. Yes, they managed to beat Guinea. And have moved to the next stage. The next stage, they are going to play Benin. They are away in Cotonou where they are training and preparing to play Benin in the qualifiers. We are hoping that they would excel. The team is going to play their game tomorrow, which is Friday. I'm going to give you updates, the time and everything that you need to know in my subsequent video. But the news I have for you is that every player is in camp. Uh, Philomena Baka recently joined them due to one player who was absent. And now the coach has a full squad. So Ghana is hoping... To qualify to the next stage of the qualifiers for the olympic games which is paris 2024 we are wishing the team the best of luck is our prayer that they'll be able to beat benny if they're able to beat benny they'll come home to come and play in a crowd obviously i'm sure they're going to play it in the cross sports stadium we'll go there again to support them but the team we playing on friday we wish them the best of luck we wish coach nora the best of luck in everything that they are doing and we are no we know now we are Whenever they are playing, you just have to sleep. Black Queen say bubble now, da na wada. Because you know, see, they will finish the match. Opponent will collect at least four. You see. So we wish them the best of luck. Wish everybody the best of luck. And that's all for today. We talked about Thomas Party. We talked about the young Ghanaian who is on the radar of a lot of European clubs. We're going to follow him and give, give you an update on that. We also talked about the Juventus Academy that's set to happen in Ghana. And we also talked about other Ghanaian players that are coming back from injury and then Thomas Party's injury update. That's all for today's edition. As usual, until we meet again, bye-bye for now.